Well, good morning, everyone, on BMX ATV. My name is Andrew Farrell. I'm joined here in Westside, WA, by Alan Phillips. Very good morning to you, Alan. Very good morning, mate. We've uh, got a lovely day here at Westside. No place I'd rather be. Look, the, the weather's fantastic. Uh, blue skies. No breeze at the moment, but yesterday during practice that, uh, that breeze picked up. But it's probably something that, uh, as the temperature climbs later today, that uh, will cool things down a little bit. Yeah, Western Australia is known for the afternoon breeze and it got up yesterday, it was a hooli and it certainly affected the riders. It was strong, but right now it's calm and lovely. Look, it is calm and lovely, but uh, race action will get underway very shortly. A lot to like uh, in this round. Firstly, though, did uh, rounds one and two live up to your expectations? Oh, sensational. I loved it. One of the highlights for me was Carolyn Buchanan attacking the men's pro straight when she didn't have to. It cost her the first round probably. She uh, lost and came second there. Second round she nailed the men's straight and took out that round. And that's something that will just evolve herself and all the girls looking at her will go, wow, there's another level to look at. No, absolutely. You're uh, spot on there. Few riders who, uh, or one rider in particular who won't be here this weekend in the Elite Men, Anthony Dean, he was our round one winner. Round two winner, Matt Justa though, we were having a look at him earlier, he's given us some GoPro footage, we'll have a look at that shortly, but uh, he's probably odds on favourite maybe. Yeah, he said to you in your interview uh, that he, he realised a three year dream when he won that and beat Anthony Dean, so that was really exciting for him and that'll give him a boost of confidence, I think he's the man to watch. No, that's, uh, that's right. Still a lot of other guys to watch there in that elite race, though. Uh, Josh Callan, still looking fast, world number six. Um, won't put anything past him. He'll be out there to win. Yeah, he just went by a couple of seconds ago before we switched on, and uh, he's looking quick as well. Don't cut me off. And over into the Elite Women's this round, we welcome back WA local Lauren Reynolds after her knee reconstruction. Mm -hmm. Must be looking forward to seeing her go around again. I oh, can't wait. I uh, was lucky enough to chat with her yesterday. She said she's feeling fresh. She's, she's rested from uh, a forced rest, recuperation, and she's ready to go. I reckon she'll be red hot. No, that's, uh, that's absolutely correct. Uh, and in this month's edition of The Dirt, uh, The Dirt actually caught up with Lauren and just her enthusiasm and, as you said, her freshness. She was just, I think, in a little way, maybe relieved to have that bit of a break, although the circumstances that led to it, I, I certainly don't think you'd be relieved about. No, no, I'm sure she didn't want the operation, but I think you're right. I think it's done her good. I never forget speaking to uh, Podge Stevenson years ago the year he won his world title was after an injury and he said he was forced to rest and his body recuperated and he came back bigger and stronger. So it does happen, it's happened before and it'll be great to see her up against Carolyn and Melinda McLeod, all the uh, quicks. That's right, you, you mentioned Melinda McLeod there, only racing round two in Narang, but uh, geez, that's going to be great racing today. Melinda McLeod, Lauren Reynolds, Caroline Buchanan, you know, that, that field, oh, Kirsten Della, how can we forget, local here at the Westside Club as well. Yeah, definitely. And Mel Melinda McLeod came back in round two and won all three of her motos straight back on the track. So she's a danger woman. She can, she can beat anyone. Racing action extends right across all the classes here today as well. The junior men. Aaron Noddle last year was probably one of the gun riders. Max yeah. Cairns this year is leading the series. And look, I, I think he's probably another one tipped to take out some wins again today. Yeah, he was very strong in the ring, Max Cairns, and uh, Noddle's a Western Australian, so he'll be have that home ground advantage and confidence. So another ding-dong battle, for sure. 
And uh, right across, I think, all categories of racing today, you, you've got the challenge class. We've got the three classes in the challenge. We've got the 17-plus women, 17-24 men, and the 30-plus masters. Great to see those uh, those ladies in the 17-plus women also from the East Coast come over to, to WA. Yeah, it's uh, it's exciting racing in all the classes, and it's great how the this series is expanding. It's gradually taking in the more classes and opening it up to more people. It's really good. And we've got more numbers uh, this weekend in terms of riders uh, and entries across uh, the rounds three and four here in Westside, more than what we had there in 2013. So the race, obviously, people are coming to like it. They, they love the facilities over here. And, and what's not to like about this track? This is a sensational quick track. And uh, it's got some big jumps. It's got some thrills. There'll be some spills, as always. I think it's going to be fantastic. Any areas of concern around the track that you think might bring some riders undone? Oh, I think this on the first straight here, we can't see it on the footage, but uh, the, the jump at the end of the first straight looks like it's harder for some of the difficult, uh, some of the slower riders. And then the pro section's really tight between the jumps. There's no room for error. You've got to be smooth on the first one to get the second one. No, I agree. I think you've absolutely nailed it there. That uh, Those first jumps uh, in the first straight, but that pro section in particular, I think once we see racing action really get uh, get down to the business end of things, guys will be pushing hard, and I, I, I shudder to say that I think we might see some guys sort of miss some opportunities there. Yeah, definitely. We, uh, we love crashes. We love and hate crashes there. <laughs> we hate anyone getting hurt, and we hope no one gets hurt this weekend. But it, the excitement of the elbow to elbow in the air, you can't beat it. It's an adrenaline pump. That it is. And speaking of the adrenaline pumping, we'll be getting underway with time trials shortly. So that wrap, pretty much wraps up our first edition here at Westside uh, for round three of the BMX Australia National Series. We look forward to speaking to our winners a little bit later this afternoon. Hope you can join us then. Thank you. Thank you. And good night. <laughs>